assalamu alaikum good morning students we have completed the chapter dasu part 1 today i'm going to start second part of the same chapter let's start the reading of the chapter dasu part 2 please take out page number 56 look at the book please dasu part 2 pitched hobbled pen graced leopard intention at last the little party came to the lower hill which were covered with trees and grass there the track became wider and walking was much easier one night they camped on a narrow ridge between two valleys the animals were unloaded and a round wall was made by building up the bags of borax in the middle of the circle hatukotu's family pitched their tents and settled down to cook their evening meal while the flocks grazed peacefully on the green grass around them yes class 4 next page please page number 57 as soon as it was dark the sheep the sheep were driven into the shelter and the donkeys were hobbled nearby for the tibetans knew that if an animal strayed it would almost certainly be carried off by a tiger or a leopard hatukotu and his parents were tired after their day's march so they went to bed early about midnight hatukotu was wakened by dasu who kept pushing his cold nose against the boy's neck what's the matter dasu he asked sleepily the dog was listening eagerly to some sound which seemed to come like an echo from the valley as hatukotu listened to he heard the sudden sharp bark of a deer quite close by It's nothing, Dasu. Go to sleep," said Hatukotu, lying down again. Still, Dasu was ill at ease. He whimpered and prowled about Hatukotu's tent. At last, he crawled out of the tent and stood outside among the munching sheep and goats. They too were uneasy, and the great watchdog chained across the opening. of the sheep pen was standing up and glaring straight into the darkness of the night yes class 4 next page page number 58 suddenly with a heavy crashing of bushes the striped body of a tiger leapt into the pen and seized a fat lamb the watch dog strained at his rope until the broke until he broke loose then he ran for safety the other dogs set up a frightened howling but the sheep and goats were silent with terror yes class 4 next page please At the sudden noise, Hatukotu, who was lying only half asleep, sat up and rubbed his eyes. The boy missed Dasu from his tent, so he ran out to see what had happened. A sound of angry snarling came from the tiger, who held the poor lamb under one of his giant paws. "It's the tiger!" gasped the boy. without thinking of what he was about hatukotu sprang towards the big animal waving his arms wildly he hoped to scare it off but the tiger but the tiger was old and fierce and had no intention of being scared away by a small boy then as hatukotu stopped waving his arms the tiger's eyes gleamed wickedly with a quick spring the great animal threw himself at the little boy 
and knocked him flat on the ground. Hatipotu gave a loud scream and the next moment a small furry body flung itself at the tiger's head. Yes, class 4, this was the reading of chapter Dasu, part 2. Thank you.